Did Michelle Yeoh and Ki Hui Kwan just get dissed at the Oscars after they presented their awards to the winners? David, let's talk about this because it's not just Asians debating this, but non-Asians too. This reminded me of when I'm at my company and everybody gets invited to the happy hour, except me. They are leaving the Asians out again. Uh, we gotta talk about it, Andrew. Like you said, this is a stir within the Asian American internet community, but also just the Oscars pop cultural community. Let's run the clips in question, Andrew. Michelle Yeoh and Ki Hui Kwan being ignored by M. Stone and Robert Downey Jr. You seen right. the clips, man. All right. All right. My first initial take is that the Emma Stone one isn't that bad. I think she was just very excited. She even skips the first two women who were non-Asian, right? Was it Charlize Theron? I think that's I, I don't even know. But she skipped them too, and then she went back and shook their hands very... She was just very excited. I could see it in her face. Robert Downey Jr., definitely, obviously, kind of like in his Tony Stark character or just in this kind of like cocky manner that he already is. He did kind of skip Ki Hui Kwan. He did. He did. No, I'm not, he didn't even like acknowledge his existence as a man. I'm not saying backstage later, whatever, whatever, when you have the face. I'm talking about in the moment in front of the cameras, in front of tens of millions of people. He didn't even, he looked at him like he was a waiter. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like Ki Hui Kwan, even though he won last year, he's not really part of the Hollywood big stars, you know, like of the popular kids of Hollywood. So I guess he, he kind of did diss him. And it didn't look good. It didn't look good on Robert Downey Jr.'s part. After the show, I guess they did talk with each other. So I guess. Do you think Robert Downey cool. Jr. was like, "Sorry, Key, earlier I just, I was just in an adrenaline filled It's okay, Robert. It's okay. I just thought you were a statue. It's okay. I understand that you know you may not see me, you know, because I just won last year. But like you know, it, it did hurt me at first. But you know. Now that we talk and connect those people, I, I have a lot of respect for you, Robert. Right. Um, you know, it is, this isn't the first time it happened. Taylor Swift recently caught a lot of internet flack for quote unquote ignoring Celine Dion and just grabbing the Grammy from her and running on stage to give her a speech. So David, here's my thing. I think this is why people are talking about it because one, they want something to talk about from the Oscars because nobody really cares about the Oscars anymore. Oppie was going to sweep anyways. We all knew that. But nobody's getting slapped in the face anymore like right. Will Smith, Chris Rock. Yeah, but I think also because it's Robert Downey Jr. who's kind of known as like a cool but kind of cocky dude. Yeah, and I would then, say a lot of people People are like, I love his characters, but man, he seems like he'd be a douchebag to me in person. And then Ki Hui Kwan, who kind of made this whole like comeback to Hollywood after decades of being out of the game and not feeling desired by Hollywood, obviously winning an Oscar last year for everything, everywhere, all at once. And then it also really hits a lot of people and reminds Asians like, damn, even at the Oscars, when you were last year's winner, sometimes you can still get ignored and overlooked. Right. And the truth is... I don't think that the other stars view Michelle or Ki Hui, and you could be more shocked for Michelle, but definitely I think everybody would understand what I mean by saying Ki Hui Kwan is not in the Hollywood elite mm -hmm. because I wouldn't be surprised, and this, I, this is my, Andrew, you know, cynical David making a prediction, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them never even watched everything everywhere all at once. It wouldn't shock me if Robert it, Downey Jr. has never seen it. it. I wouldn't put it past him, yeah. Yeah, and I think that this is what happens. By the way, whether you want to call last year sweep or whatever, like DEI tokenism, even if it was, I think there's, it probably was. You mean, wasn't. You, you mean to say everything, everywhere, all at once sweeping the awards last year? I think there's pros and cons out of it. Of course, me supporting Asians, I'm still going to take it, but it doesn't mean it's going to like completely systematically change everything from the top down, bottom up in that world in terms of how they view people as their peers or not peers. Mm. And I do think Emma Stone probably is the least familiar with Michelle's work out of everybody. Duh, everybody's like a white American girl. Of course, they're going to be more familiar with each other's stuff. And Robert Downey Jr., I'm sure he's least familiar with Key's stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I think that 
I think just, I think here's like a lesson. And this is something that I kind of experienced as an Asian guy that I realized, like you can do something cool or something that you think is cool and notable, but until you're in those circles, you don't fully get respect like you're part of the circle. Even if you've done something that other people from the circle have not done. Yeah, it's almost like frats, where it's like, we're in rival frats, or you're not in the frat. Whatever you did something was cool. It's like, yeah, good for you, buddy. I respect it. But when you're in the frat, it's like, brother, you achieved something amazing. We're in the fraternity together. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's a number of reasons because Kiwe was kind of like, I guess, a come up story, come out of nowhere, kind of like a comeback redemption story. But not everybody cared about that. Obviously, for Asians, it was great. It was inspirational. I'm very happy for him. I'm very happy for everybody right. part of that movie. And I'm, very, I'm happy for all of our Asian friends who were part of any sort of project that came out recently, right? Even if it got canceled, like ABC or uh, uh, Brother Son. But like Kung Fu. Yeah, Kung Fu, uh, Olivia. Uh, but what I'm saying is like, I guess I'm still not surprised because a lot of Asians are not in that circle. And that's why Simu Liu is kind of one of the only ones that's sort of in those, in the young circle now. Yes, yes, sort yes. Of. He's sort of in the frat. Yeah. He's, he's got a foot in a foot out but, probably. But I'll say this, I'll say this. I think the reason why it's going viral, and I saw this comment, is because a lot of people feel like this is the way they get treated at work or in line at the grocery store or when there's customer service greeting people on an airplane, they feel like as an Asian, they might get skipped over more for the greeting than say, for example, a white person. Yeah, listen, there's tribalism in everything and it doesn't even matter if you're an Oscar winner because there's tons of Oscar winners that are from international markets that don't get love. Like, I don't think like if... if uh, it was uh, Benini. What's his that Italian actor's name from a long time ago? One in like the war movie. Anyway, Benini. Yeah, like there's a lot of actors who won Oscars at the Oscars, but like still are not beloved by the circles. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. They're not like these Hollywood box office TMZ constantly front yeah. page type people. Um, I'll say this: some people were defending it, saying, "Yo, I think it was disrespectful," but I think it's a stretch to say it was racist. Was it more of a Hollywood ranking thing or was it an Asian thing but isn't the fact that they're Asian mean that their Hollywood rank is going to be newer because Asians inclusion yeah. into the so it's all like connected it's like either racism or positionism but the positionism is connected to the race so do you know what I'm saying it's like it's hard to figure it out because they're like yeah well it's tough because I can't really name that many Asians that are part of that Hollywood circle that that I would expect it so um, it's hard to say. I don't want to like just go out and just say like people like Robert Downey Jr. are racist. I mean, right? Like, Robert, he's doing hey, the sympathizer, right? He he's just doing... Robert Downey Jr. just did the sympathizer. His team, his team, his team. It. I mean, I mean, he's executive producer, whatever it was like. So, um, man, I don't know if it was race first, but definitely Kiway. I'm gonna be honest, and this is me being happy for him. He is still on the outside, even though he won an Oscars. Right, right. Obviously, right. he's not at, the, at those parties and all that. So I'm not saying you, he should be. I'm just saying he's not. So that's why yeah, well, he's not on Epstein's Island. Like I'm sure. Well, like, thank God he's not, but I'm just but saying like, yeah, he's not. I, I know what you mean. Like these like elite hyper billionaire, trillionaire power circles. They're just not in them yet. Um, I guess for me, one thing is just like, it's interesting because I do feel like Asians care a lot about validation from like the mainstream group of people, whoever's dominating an industry. I think Asians like really, really care about that. And sometimes that we don't value appreciation from our own community enough. Yeah, dude, think about it. Kiwe literally was probably like, where was that? Robert, he, he ignored me. I don't even care because last year I won Best Supporting Actor and then this year I'm an Oscar presenter and this is a dream I never thought would ever come true. So I'm just happy to be on the stage. So if Robert Downey Jr. wants to ignore me three, four, five more right. times, that's okay. Right, right, right. If, uh, you know... Michelle got the least love of, out of all the women that Emma Stone showed love to. It's still like a win. Yeah, but I, honestly, I do not think, this is my honest opinion, I don't think Michelle Yeoh or Ki Hui Kwan are, feel bad. I really don't think oh, so. Oh, no, I don't think I don't so think because they I care. think they're both rooted in Asia, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I think they're good. Obviously, as an Asian on the outside looking in, sometimes we get a little sensitive and we're like, well, you didn't show love to the Asian guy. It's true, they didn't. Yeah, and I just feel like, we're, we're outside these systems and we just are trying to make our way in to get more representation and obviously have successful careers, but we can't overvalue it either. Duh, yes, it did happen. 
what else? I don't know. Yeah, like that happened. Totally. Look, two for two. I don't know. There's some evidence there. How serious do you want to take the evidence and extrapolate it? And what sort of implications do you want to draw from it? Up to you, I'm sure, depending on which way your mind leans, you're going to see this or see that. Um, ultimately, I'll say this, man. Andrew, Jake Caspian King, he wrote a book called The Invisible Americans. Were these the invisible Hollywood superstars? I guess you could say that. Who's to blame, right or wrong, guys? Let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace.